It's recording the video. <laughs> Normally, my head covers Mariah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm happy with this. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we have lots of Mariah news to report. But before we do, please do us a favor and make sure you hit follow on your favorite podcast app or subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. Exactly. We need more subscribers. We need more listeners. Share us with your friends, your family, all your folks. Yes. And it's good for the business in general. Good for Mariah. Uh-huh. Everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. And look at all the weekly Mariah updates. We got some updates this week. There's stuff swirling around. All kinds of things. It's happening. Um, <laughs> quick reminder. <laughs> quick <was> reminder. Like, <laughs> Uh, we're seven people away from our Patreon goal as well. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't done so yet, head over to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report. Sign up. It's $5 a month. Cancel anytime. Tons of bonus content over there for you to enjoy. And we have promised that once we hit our goal, we are going to do the Hot Wings Challenge over there on Patreon, on video, answering questions. It's going to be a Q&A slash burning our mouths. People want to see that. We're going to yeah. do it. And you know what I realized? I think I I will start crying. Why? Because well, not like crying like boohoo crying, but like <laughs> crying like oh my god, my eyes are watering and my nose is running. Like that kind of stuff will happen. That will will happen. That yeah. will happen. But whatever, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. it we're is seven it is. people away. So thank you to the new people that joined up. Yes. Um, plenty of room for everybody. So go uh, go check it out. The link is in the description below. All right. Okay, so we have updates. We have new things to talk about with Mariah. So let's get into it, I guess. Yes, where shall we begin? I think the big gag of the week was that Meghan Markle has a new podcast. <gasps> mm -hmm. Now, this we is... know we appreciate a Meghan Markle moment over here at the Mariah Report. Of course. Oh, we love a princess. Yes. We love a princess. Now, wasn't it when she got married, um, one of Mariah's guys did her hair? Or Surge. am I making that up? No, Serge did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she borrowed Serge. Oh, yeah, so she's a friend. Yes, we run in the same circles. Yeah. <laughs> Mixed race, like Mariah. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, yes. Oh, I All wonder things. I wonder if they're going to talk about that. I'm sure they will. I bet they will. Okay, well, here's the news. So Megan Markle has launched a new podcast called Archetypes, I guess, or Archetypes, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Doing pretty well. The first guest was Serena Williams. It's now number one on Spotify's chart. It's mm -hmm. a Spotify exclusive. So if you want to hear Mariah's episode, which comes out next Tuesday, which is uh, the 30th of, of August, make sure you subscribe to Spotify. There is a free version as well. While you're there, check out the Mariah Report. Uh, and so it seems to be like we're going to get at least an hour of conversation. You love a good hour of mm -hmm. conversation with Mariah. Yes. Especially because they can go into so many things. Right. But I was also going to say... Um, the first guest of the show of, their, of her podcast was Serena Williams, also a friend of Mariah. They run in the same circles. Yes. Yes. So we love that too. Now, was it Serena or um, Venus, Venus that was featured in the Save the Day video? Oh, that's Serena. Serena. Yeah. Serena. Or maybe both of them. Were they both playing? Yeah. maybe Back then? You know what? It's been a minute since I watched that video. I know. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe it was both. I think it was both because there was like old footage You're uh, right. put in through there. But wasn't it Serena Williams? Okay, I could be making this up now, but wasn't Serena Williams? Did she call into HSN when Mariah was doing that? Oh, she did? Did she? I don't remember. I feel like she called in somewhere. And then like, that's how we knew that they were friendly. Or they did something else together. I'm sure they've done things. They've done things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they at least know each other minimum through Oprah. Oh, wait, how is that? Because Serena's friend, uh, they're both friends, both they're of the Williams friends. are friends with Oprah. Oh, okay. But have you seen them together? No. No. Okay. Listen. Were they at the Legends Balls? Ball? No, I don't think so. They would qualify, right? Maybe they're they younger? were at the ball, but they weren't at like the luncheon. We need to investigate our Serena Mariah. <laughs> Actually, you guys help us out. What's the <laughs> Serena... Mariah. What's the Mariah Serena connection? Please, somebody tell us. That I know, I know, it's got to be close. That'd be good to know. Yeah, I think she called into an HSN once. <laughs> I really do. I don't know why that's coming to me, but it just popped in my head. And sometimes I make things up, and sometimes I'm telling the truth. <laughs> well, <laughs> you'll never know. We'll circle back to this investigation. Uh, um, but I'm excited to hear this. I love when Mariah gets on a podcast because 
she it it's not like a 10 minute segment mm -hmm. or it's not like a segmented oprah episode or a 2020 it's right. really like a good long conversation yes yeah, so you can hit record and let it run and if it's good talk it's good talk and you can use all of it there's no rules that make you cut it down or hurry up or anything like that so hopefully it's juicy oh yes for sure i'm sure she's going to talk about a lot of great things last time she was on a podcast correct me if i'm wrong but it was the quest love one that was which really was good. really good two parts uh, it wasn't like three hours long total. i think it was yeah but you know they got all those things in common they know so many people mm -hmm. but they're also like you know obsessed with music and stuff like that so it was easy to go three hours with those two how do you think the mariah megan connection happened now i'm thinking the hair guy Serge hooked him up well i think it's all those people i think serena they all I, know each other you know what i mean i would did we we've never seen um uh, megan markle and mariah hang out right never never no, no i don't recall any of that she wasn't invited to the wedding maybe she was she just didn't go i don't know mm. maybe they'll tell us yeah we'll find maybe out we'll find out i guess <laughs> yeah because we'll find out in the intro how they know each other yeah. And I love that, you know, Meghan Markle wanted Mariah on this show. So that means it's going to be good talk because mm -hmm. a lot of people, they don't think Mariah's good talk or that she has like things that like are worthy of, you know, these types of conversations. But Mariah got it, honey. These people are missing out. Yeah. So from what I gathered from the first episode, the overall theme of the podcast is going to be sort of misrepresentation and misconceptions of women mm -hmm. in, in the public space. So, I, and so there was a teaser where she was like throwing out buzzwords that uh, sort of negatively, um, you know, insinuated towards women. And one of them was diva. Oh, okay. she didn't say Mariah, but I was like, okay, that's the buzz. You know, that's one, that's one of the words we always get. Yes. And you know, we, we know what Mariah's thing about the diva mm -hmm. is already. So yeah. I'm sure she's going to pull out her good old, well, when I was growing up, uh -huh. a diva was a good thing, blah, blah, blah. And that whole thing. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll hear about that. And she'll plug Mini and Mariah Carey. Oh, well, I hope so. And she better she plug must. everything and she better announce something too. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, one of our listeners uh, in a few weeks ago when we mentioned the Global Citizens concert said new, new single vibes or new album vibes. Again, the magnitude of this interview, I think is time to announce something it's big like, this is a big platform people are listening people are wanting information yeah so it would be good you know to announce something maybe the butterfly 25 maybe you know she'll talk about global citizens fest i don't know when this was recorded so mm -hmm. it's it's uh i'm unsure of what was going on or yeah. what she had planned at the time right but definitely something to tune into and it's going to be a great, you know, long interview with Mariah. We haven't heard from her in a while. It's been a minute, girl. I mean, we got a lot from Masterclass, but this is going to be like on a whole nother level. Yeah. I'm excited. I know. I know. And you know what? I don't even, I don't even think I've ever seen really Meghan Markle do like long interviews either. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, obviously like the Oprah one, mm -hmm. but like outside of that, I don't, girl, I don't know. No, outside of that, she was on the run. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah running from paparazzi and whatnot yeah yeah all kinds of stuff so i think something exciting to look forward to hey i'm week. not mad i'm not mad it's yes. given us something but i think it's just sort of like you know whenever mariah rolls some out something she'll do like little little appearances here appearances there right something will be coming get them warmed up yeah of course so, let them know that you're out there yeah yeah so exciting i know let's wait and see what happens yes absolutely i wonder if we'll get like maybe pictures of them together do you think i don't think they're in the same room no i think remote okay well, in my mind not happening i forgot we're in 2022 now yeah yeah <laughs> my bad <laughs> it's all right i don't know wait when was mariah in la last mm, gosh was it long ago i can't remember no wasn't it recently something happened i have no idea oh the bet awards yes that sure. okay uh, yes there okay. we go there we go <laughs> <laughs> I so maybe maybe yes. maybe but we, we don't know we have no idea what was on her schedule oh uh, well i guess timeline wise that works yeah is that was... recorded then mm -hmm. now it's produced and edited yeah comes out now there you have it
So we'll see. Okay. All right. We'll keep our, our ears open. And of course, next week we'll report everything that went down in the conversation. So be sure to tune in. Come back. We'll give you a synopsis and a breakdown. Yes, girl. And we'll thoughts. go right into it. Yes, yes. Um, but speaking of the BET Awards, you know what else is coming up are the MTV VMAs. Yes. Now, I didn't know they still do the VMAs. Of course they do. But like, they used to do them for music videos. Apparently now they don't. You could just, they have a nomination for everything. Because now they're doing a nomination for Song of the Summer. Yeah. What's that got to do with the Where's video? Where does the V stand for video? Well. Music awards? <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> how are they going to nominate things that don't have videos? Well, that's the gag. That's the gag of it all, because you even know. Mariah, so they nominated um, Big Energy yep. for Song of the Summer, which is with Lotto, which, hey, I'm down. I'm voting. I'm out there. I'm doing it. It's a Song of the Summer. It is. It's a bop. It is. Actually, because I was playing it the other day, and I was thinking, oh, this feels like I'm getting to the end of my cycle with it. And it feels like the end of summer. Yes, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very summer jam. Now, I don't it's... know what she's nominated up against. I didn't There's go a lot, that far. A lot but... of songs. <laughs> but I now, I guess you can just, you know, be nominated for whatever at the VMAs. So, Well, they had that long gif on YouTube. Does that count <laughs> as a video? <laughs> I guess, hey, it's 2022. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's, I think it's real interesting that Mariah, who hasn't been nominated for a video music award, oh gosh, how long has it been? Isn't it ever? No, no, she's been nominated before. Never won. Never won. I, I think maybe I want to say, was Touch My Body nominated? Y'all are going to have to help us on that one. Didn't do my nomination research. <laughs> but I think it's been the 90s since she's been nominated. Like, I don't even think Heartbreaker was nominated. Really? I think maybe Honey was. Well, Touch My Body was the 2006, 7-ish. Yeah, but I don't I don't know if she got a nomination for that. Mm. No, isn't she always snubbed, snubbed by them? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's been so long. But now watch her go ahead and win this one. Right, with right? no video? With no video. Yeah. But she's going to have a moon man. I mean, she needs it, but I'm just saying. <sighs> where where, where was the moon man when Honey was out? Right. Uh, speaking of honey, this to sidebar comment. So I watched Greece on the mm -hmm. weekend for the first time. I think since I was in school, I actually haven't sat down and watched it. Watched it. Right. I recommend it. It's very Mariah. Okay. Now that we've read the book, uh, we've seen these music videos that Mariah, you know, Heartbreaker. Speaking of Heartbreaker, these like little um, nods to Greece that Mariah makes. Mm -hmm. Watching it as an adult, and with like all these new lenses. Um, it was really good, but there's a lot of Mariah influences in there. And there's almost a little bit of the Honey video where Mar Mariah's the good girl wearing her, you know, conservative, conservative, conservative clothing. And then, you know, shows up in the Honey video wearing a little mini black dress. And then the bikini. It's a whole new vibe. Yes. Oh, it's very that. So it's very that in Greece as well. She's conservative and then rocks up at the end with a whole new look. Oh, yes. I believe that. I see that. Yeah. I see the whole uh, vibe, the whole connection. Yes, yes. I'm down for it. It was very, very interesting to watch it. There's like drinking, there's sex. Oh, uh, I was like, this was being shown to children. For the children. I know. <laughs> a lot of innuendos in it that as an adult, I'm catching, catching. Now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That is interesting to, to like do because when you watch things as a child, you're probably, you know, you're not picking up all those little things. Uh huh. There's a lot of movies, TV shows that you would not pick those things when you're watching as a, a 10 year old. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I recommend it. Yes, please. Check it out, because it, it just felt very Mariah-esque throughout the whole thing. Anything Mariah-esque, we're down. Hilarious moments, too, like um, in the beginning when Sandy and Danny are on the beach, um, and then she shows up at the high school. No explanation as to why she's still there. She just rocks, she's just still there in America. Uh, well. And she, all she says is, change of plans. <laughs> <laughs> that solves it. There you have it. What else do you need? You don't need to explain anything else. Simple. Hilarious to me. <laughs> <laughs> the magic of movies. I know. No um, explanation needed. It was a good time. Also, I didn't realize at the end, the scene when Sandy turns up in the black outfit, uh -huh. Danny is trying to be um, preppy. Oh, really? He's rock he shows up in a like a preppy cardigan. Oh, see, I don't even remember all those things. The same. That's why I was like watching it again. It was actually really enjoyable. Quite kooky. Great music. Oh, yeah. Music for sure. I recommend, you know, if goes on the weekend, watch it. If you got a few extra hours, why not? Do it, yeah. <laughs> Do it. Um, all right, let's take a quick splash break, and we'll be back with more Mariah updates.
The Mariah Report is supported by PodcastCBD.com. Use the promo code REPORT to get 10% off of any purchase and free shipping on orders over $50. Dan, I'm so excited to bring this product to our listeners because it's something that I've been taking for a while now. And at PodcastCBD.com, you can get something called Wild Gummies. They come in the raspberry flavor. They are delicious. Now, I've been hearing everybody in the streets talk about CBD this, CBD that, and I have no idea what CBD is. Think of it as a natural compound or even as a supplement that you add to your health regimen. So CBD is something that your body makes naturally, your brain makes it, especially after you exercise. And so taking a gummy uh, gives your body a boost. And I actually used to be a skeptic until I realized that I was doing it completely wrong. Well, how, what were you doing wrong? How are you supposed to do it right? So when I first tried it, I was just taking like one dose. I wasn't even measuring how much I was taking. I just tried it and hoped for the best and really nothing really happened at all. I didn't feel anything, didn't do anything. So I just thought it was bogus. However, somebody explained to me that what you need to do is measure how much you're taking. So for example, the gummies, the wild gummies, they are 25 milligrams a piece. And then so you know the the dose and then you take it daily to get the benefits. And what are the benefits of these CBD gummies? So the main one for me is that I used to have horrible sleep issues. I couldn't get to sleep, couldn't stay asleep. I would wake up in the middle of the night. I wasn't falling asleep until 2 a.m. It wasn't good. So I started taking these to help with that. And I found it really did help me fall asleep earlier. And I was able to stay asleep and I was waking up refreshed as well. That was the main benefit of it. And I also found it really helped with my anxiety that I had. It's brought me back from anxiety attack several times. It kind of just takes the edge off it. Again, nat- completely natural. And then the shocking thing that happened was it really cleared up a lot of my joint pain after a couple of weeks. Uh huh. And unlike taking a Tylenol or something like that, that just covers up the pain and temporarily relieves it, it actually got rid of the inflammation in, in my joints. Well, these benefits sound real yummy to me, so I might not need to go get some of these gummies. Yeah, so make sure you head over to podcastcbd.com, use the promo code REPORT to support this podcast, The Mariah Report, and get yourself some premium lab-tested hemp CBD products. Welcome back. Don't forget, we all, we would love it if you guys left an Apple podcast review that also helps the show grow and supports us over here. Yeah, just say a little something, say hey, hi, and uh, hit the five stars. Emojis. Yeah, uh-huh. A butterfly, a little, butterfly, right. a little yeah. butter. You don't have to do much. No. We don't ask for much. But we appreciate <laughs> it when you do it because it does make an impact and it actually does help with the podcast charts. And so more people see us, more people see Mariah, and they join in the fun. It's like doing God's work. It is. It uh-huh. is. All uh-huh. All for Mariah. Do it for Mariah. Exactly. exactly. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have a couple updates because we're, we're the, the Mariah Report updates section now. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what's the first update? Following up. Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that, that that makes sense. <laughs> okay. So a little tidbit that we skipped over a couple of weeks ago, but just put it on your radar because we need to keep an eye out for it. Uh, the artist Bryson Tiller in an interview said that a collaboration with him and Mariah is in the works. Mm-hmm. TBD on what that is. We don't know if it is a Christmas song or a regular song. Oh, I don't know. What? Well, not Christmas, please. You know how things go. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Now, I don't know Bryson Tiller. Do you know him? I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar, but listen, I'm willing to get we'll, familiar. <laughs> we'll investigate. <laughs> but, you know, that's what's great about Mariah is that she'll introduce us to interesting artists and great people. I've been really into Khalid ever since Falling in Love Oh, yeah. I've heard of him uh, from other things, but there's other, you know, Mariah's always working with people like Gunna. Mm -hmm. I had no idea who that was. Mm -hmm. You know, Stay Long, Love You. Right. Cute song. I love it. Yes. She's a little bopping over there still. I know, I know. Um, So, yeah, she's always working with somebody new that, listen, I'm I'm down if Mariah's down. Mm Mm-hmm. So we'll have to keep that on our radar, see what happens there. Tell us your favorite Bryson Tiller songs for us to check out. Uh, yes, yes. Put them, on, put them up there. Let us know. I'll stream it. In the comments, yes. Maybe he got a good old Bob. Yes, exactly. I'm sure he does. Um, yes. Uh, if someone else knows him, then he's got a Bob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So last week we had the horrible crime report to report of Mariah's house getting broken into mm-hmm. while she was on vacation. Yes. In Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta House. Mm-hmm. Now there's been a gang of robbers going around robbing all the all the um, rich people over there. Yeah, you were saying that the the housewife 
what's her name? Marlo. Marlo Thomas. Hampton. Hampton. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> She also was robbed yes. and stuff like that. So it's like a whole crime spree, spree over there. But they caught the robbers. Right. I'm excited. Arrested. Arrested. Names and everything. Remember, I said jail to all of them. Yes, yes. And here they are now. <laughs> well, get this. So I got a word, actual word on the street. So one of my friends, my friend Evie, shout out to Evie. Hey, she Evie. was texting her friend in Atlanta to oh. see what's up in the streets. The real inside street scoop. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? So the friend was like, oh, yeah, Mariah lives north of me. Um, they got caught, blah, blah, blah. 24 gang members arrested <gasps> so far. Get out. It's a gang-related home invasions to prominent people and celebrities. And do they know what they're stealing exactly? Or they're doing Just the grabbing. bags, the jewelry, the everything? I think it's a similar situation to these um, retail. Crash and grabs? Yes. What are they called? Smash, Smash and, grabs. and grabs? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Just big groups of people stealing. Yeah. That's scary. In, in people's houses, though, that's crazy. That's scary stuff. See, now I'm not down for robbing or anything like that. But when you get to, when you invade somebody's like home privacy, that's very traumatic. I mean, if even mm -hmm. if you're a worker and you're like in the store when they're robbing. Yeah. That's also traumatic. But like invading people's privacy like that, like because sometimes like if you just smash into like, you know, the Macy's after hours, that's all right. I mean, it's not all right, but you know what I mean? And the, Well, that's also been happening as forever. Well, yeah, There's yeah, There's like yeah. late night smash and grabs. Yeah, but like when you're like inflicting terror upon people or mm -hmm. like making them feel unsafe, that is not right. Mm -mm. Jail to all of them. Yeah. Immediately. I know. Scary so, stuff. Yeah. And then Mariah put out a little, um, you know, a little blurb or something saying she's, you know, a thank goodness the officers got them, all this kind of stuff. And very grateful. Very grateful. Yes. Well, apparently they were on the scene. Oh, they were. In the moment. Oh, they were. So I guess the ring camera was on. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Now, but when they arrested the people from Mariah's house, it was only three of them. But they're a part of a larger gang. Yes. Is that what's up? That's what's going on. Okay, okay. I think the strategy of these big group, or the, the big gang is you let some of them get arrested because they can't arrest everybody. Oh, really? I think that's the strategy. Is that sort of how the, the drug cartels work as well? Oh, of course. Oh, okay. But let's not talk about them because did you read about the boy that got murdered? No. From the cartels? No. Some boy was like making fun of the cartel on TikTok. <gasps> and then they saw it and they went and killed him. <gasps> no. Yeah, so we did not, let's not involve us. <laughs> We're not involved. <laughs> no. We didn't know anybody. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about all of that. I know. That's why the report like named names. I was like, I'm not going to read these names out. Oh, don't. Please don't. <laughs> but if you want to know their names, just Google it. Okay. Well, I'm just glad that they caught him and hopefully they got some of Mariah's stuff back and, you know, nothing was uh, too damaged or uh, irreplaceable. Whatever it, they took was, you know, material. Yeah, exactly. Mariah can replace. Mariah's doing well. Still over there in New York, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the Global Citizen Fest is coming up. In a month. Yeah, less than. Or no, just about. About a month. Yeah, about a month. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. We're excited for that. Well, a month out, I want her in rehearsal. Day after day. Oh, oh, you think Mariah does rehearsal? She better. <laughs> she cannot drop the ball on this one. This is big. Oh, you think Mariah's in rehearsal? <laughs> I know. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm in rehearsal she for it. She might go to sound check, but I think she knows how to stand there and sing. No, it's been a while. Okay. <laughs> she, she needs a little warm up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I guess we'll see what, what she got planned. I mean, it's a big thing. People will be watching. That's what I mean. I hope we're practicing now. Okay. Well, let's fingers crossed. And then I was thinking about the playlist. Uh -huh. It came across my mind. What? Let's say the average audience participant in this Global Citizens is 22. Okay. Right? Yeah. They were babies or not born yet when Heartbreaker came out. Oh, I know. Isn't that crazy? That's wildness. <gasps> That's insanity. That's why I'm thinking the playlist, all that early stuff is probably irrelevant. That's why we're definitely getting Shake It Off. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. That's why that's definitely on the set list now. <laughs> Dig up the mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> you know those mirrors the dancers always have. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Remember on the uh, Ventures of Mimi tour when she was like dancing on the pole? 
to mm. sh- shake it off. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, those were the early days <laughs> of that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, cute. Yeah. Though. Yeah, it was cute. Oh, I love the Adventures of Mimi tour. Yeah, it was cute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she did have to cut some of those songs out, um, you know, after the first opening of the shows and whatnot. But, you know, it's all right. Yeah. Because, you know, in I think, oh, gosh, it's I think it just had its anniversary, the Adventures of Mimi tour, 2006, August of 2006. Really? So how many years is that? Minus 2022. Uh-huh. <laughs> 16? Yeah. 16 years sounds about right okay 16 year anniversary august yeah. top of august it was in miami gosh she did honey she did breakdown she did your girl all of them cut mm. after the opening night mm-hmm. maybe rightfully so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i don't know but i love those songs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So 16 years time flies <laughs> uh see that's the kind of stuff when you're on streaming Oh, I know. Yeah. Do you, but uh, that um, DVD doesn't stream? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen that in years. Oh, I haven't seen that in years either, but I do I'd remember. I'd be down for watching that. Oh, me too. It's been a ye- it's, been it's been years. years. Remember when it came out on the Blu-ray? Yeah. Oh, girl, and you could see the shimmer in body? Mm-hmm. Girl, it was good. Those were good moments. I want to have that slip jacket oh, over, the, mm-hmm. over the case. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Those two discs. Uh, all the behind the scenes. Yeah. Good stuff. That was good. They were given good content during the Mimi era. Mm-hmm. They were doing good interviews. She did all like those like E news or like E behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Did she do some VH1 behind the scenes? All this behind the scenes. She was doing all the behind the scenes. Everything. I loved it. Oh, honey. Honey, we were eating. Yeah. Eating. Um, well, speaking of anniversaries, so the Butterfly 25 anniversary is coming up. Mm-hmm. Stop swelling. If you are a member of our Patreon, uh, you can join the link is in the description. We talked about that rumored set list that's flowing, floating around on the social medias. So we did a full breakdown of the second disc. If you want to hear us talk about that. Yes. Go check it out. But in a nutshell, we think it's fake. Probably very fake. Mostly fake. Yeah. Probably like 99% fake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. is pretty fake but um yeah disc one real <laughs> it's, it's real disc two suspicious i got my side eye on it yeah um but anyways yeah you can hear all kinds of great behind the scenes uh stuff over there on the patreon so sign up support support this show it helps this show yes. keep running as well and if you've made it this far in the video please subscribe please. have you not subscribed yet yes. <laughs> this is where the wheels come off yes <laughs> losing it uh so i think that's it for the mariah news of the week right i think so we've got everything covered but next week is going to be big we got megan markle that we'll be reporting on yes. and maybe we'll get some more announcements uh, yeah that's gonna be the big you know uh make or break oh you know not make or break but surprise. If, if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen then exactly so that's the moment to do it be sure to tune in next week because we will be here reporting yes we will thanks for joining and we'll see you soon bye the Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e B. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.